big winner at Spain's Goya Film Awards. All but monopolised the podium this year, the black and white silent retelling of the Snow White fable. Blancanieves has won ten prizes in all, including Best Film and Best Actress. Juan Antonio Bayona's The Impossible won five awards, including Best Director, although it's much praised double leads Ewan McGregor and Naomi Watts went empty-handed. It has smashed box office records, while Blanca Nieves stunned visually, including a costume prize for Paco Delgado, also up for an Oscar for his work on Les Miserables. I'm so excited. The ceremony was also an opportunity for critics of the government's austerity policies to take pot shots, notably over the sky-high VAT on cultural products. But the best supporting actress winner got down to brass tacks. In these last three years, I've seen my father dying in a public hospital where there were no blankets to cover him, nor water for him to drink. We had to provide it. In these last three years that I've been without work, I had a baby, and I don't know what kind of public education is waiting for him. From up here, I ask you for a job. I have a baby to feed. Thank you, and good night. The Lifetime Achievement Award went to Concha Belafco, who parted on down with her. But the biggest crowd response of the night came when Bayona left the stage to return with Maria Bellon, the survivor from the 2004 tsunami on whom the impossible was based.